Back again, are you? <laughs> Okay, hey kids, this is why we're here today. The service engine soon light is on in this vehicle. And we are going to go through the procedure for figuring out why that is. So if your car is running and this service engine soon or check engine light uh, is on, then this will be the procedure to follow. What I'm going to do today is retrieve the trouble code out of a Saturn. So this pretty much works for many vehicles. Location of the DLC and interpreting what those codes mean. Let's get to it, shall we? Okay, uh, what I'm using here is a device that uh, retrieves codes from the vehicle. There are a number of these on the market. This one's a rather inexpensive version, uh, comparatively. They run this one ran, I think, somewhere around $180. They actually have them it cost much less than this, like around $60 if you just want to retrieve the codes. But me, I, I wanted to have what's referred to as the data list, which basically is, especially on this, a very rudimentary look at what is happening with the fuel injection and emission control systems in real time. And they also have other versions that run up as much as like four or $5,000 that are quite good and quite accurate at what they do and much faster than this particular one. This one's kind of slow, uh, but it does give me just enough information for what I need here. Since about 1996, I believe it was, when OBD2 was implemented, it basically stated that all vehicles had to have this, this type of connection uh, for the diagnostic link. Before that, Pre-1996 is pretty much open to interpretation as far as how to access these codes. Uh, you may be able to find certain sites online. I'll see if I can list some here that uh, are specific to manufacture that let you know how to retrieve those codes. But anything pre-OBD2, you're unable to use this. But ever since 1996, you're able to plug this into everything. Now, another way to do this uh, at no cost is to go to many local auto parts stores and some major auto parts chains actually offer uh, this service many times free of charge uh, just so that you buy some auto parts. But just getting the trouble code out of the vehicle is not enough. Uh, many times there's, there's a diagnostic procedure that needs to be followed uh, based on that particular trouble code. It's really just the stepping off point. It's not the do-all, end-all diagnosis of the car. It is it is helpful, but it is not a diagnosis. It's it's basically a tool, just like any other tool. This is a diagnostic tool to help you uh, possibly interpret faults within the, the fuel and emission systems. So uh, look at it as such, and that would be a wise way to go about it. But if you see this as a direct interpretation of what is wrong with your vehicle, you might be right. You might get away with it. However, uh, there are going to be some instances where you are not correct and you will have wasted your money. So be mindful of the force, young Padawan. Let's uh, plug this one in and see what it has to say. Now the other thing that OBD2 mandated was that the connector be underneath the dashboard. Uh, this is the connector here and as you can see its shape basically is such to where you can only plug this in in one direction. I also like to turn off the, um, the fan motor and any other accessories such as the radio whenever I do this. And the reason for that is is sometimes if there's low voltage, uh, in other words, uh, the battery might be getting low, something like that. If you, if you have, like say for instance, the blower motor is on or the radio on while you're pulling these codes, sometimes low voltage within the electrical system can cause issues. So uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the electrical system is as unloaded as possible so that it can just focus on giving you these codes. Now once you've got the tester or what have you plugged in, it may turn on like this one does, uh, but what you really need to do is you need to put the key into the ignition, turn it into the on position, but do not start the vehicle. So in this case, I am going under vehicle diagnostics and do I want to use the same vehicle 
No. Uh, read codes would probably be the fast, well, fastest way to do this. For mine, I can just push this button. Now this is one of those instances where this is precisely what I'm talking about. Uh, this is an O2 sensor circuit slow response, one of one. Now, a lot of people would look at this and say that the O2 sensor is at fault. The O2 sensor is not necessarily at fault in this case because this is not saying that it has a failure, it's saying that it has a slow response. This could ultimately be a problem with the O2 sensor. However, it could also be a problem with, like say, a leaky intake gasket or some other malfunction within the fuel system. What this means is that the fuel system is trying to correct for a problem. Now this is not the only code, you notice it says one of two. And the second code is cam position sensor A circuit. This is only the first phase of diagnosis. Uh, I'm going to look into these codes further. Basically that's how you would read the codes from a check engine light. Thank you and I hope this was helpful. Ah, this is going to be fun. You might just learn something.